Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be modding the Nerf Long Strike. As you can see, I already have my stock modded, taken off. I will be explaining the mod in this part of the video. Um, first things first, the first step is always, if you're modding a gun, unscrew it, and uh, I'll give you some time to do that, so go ahead and do it. Okay, so I already have my gun unscrewed, you should have yours done. I just gonna want to carefully lift the shawl off. All the screws in the gun so you know exactly where they are. You, don't, you wouldn't want to misplace them. They're very important. Make sure your um your uh accessory retainers are still in right. This is probably the um easiest clip system guard gun to mod. A clip system gun to mod. Um because of uh the way it's put back together. <coughs> so anyways. Basic. Now, if you want parachute to mod, you can watch this part of the video. If you're going to want uh, stock mod, watch the next part. Okay, so the parachute to mod, you're going to need to take this one piece, just flip your jam door off. <coughs> and then take your screwdriver. Always use the right size screwdriver. Never ever use the wrong size and try to strip the screw. Strip the screw. Um if possible. I've done it before. And I wound up with bad things. So I'll do that. First you have this to take apart. You take these two big silver screws out. I just dropped one. Um Take this piece and put it in your parts. Whoa. And take your spring out. I don't know why I need a hook. Rubber on the outside of it. But anyways, take your spring out, take your housing out. Put the two Silver screws in a good pile, safe spot. Okay, then you're gonna want to take this whole plunger, housing, and everything, and just. Oh boy. Hold on. Okay, so I just took the plunger housing out. You want to take the tube off? So I'll do that. Now you're stuck with this. Okay, um, there's a lot of ways to mod these. The simplest way is to get a hammer and a long screwdriver you own. Just put a big hole there and then tap your right. Tapping up too steep. Um, okay. Yeah, so do that. Now, once you've done that, take some time. Yeah, hold up. Okay, next, this was an accident. Um, just took this piece out. I think this is the clip holder. You can take both those out if you want to. If you want to leave them in. If you don't have this, your clips are just going to slip out and you're going to pull them out during um, play, which I would love, but I'm not 100% sure it's going to work, so I'm going to put mine in, so, um, let's see if I can squeeze this out, looks like this is, yes. Yeah, and then I just can use 
did that. So, if they're part of the mod, I put it back together for you. Um, next, we need to put under housing. Um, it is. Yeah, I think I want to put the plunger housing on. Just like so. So this thing on. You still have, have to put your retainer on the outside, so don't freeze. Also, about the access door, if you still want that on, you can keep it on. I'm not going to put one on, so don't think it's just part of the mod and it's renewed to this stuff. And, uh, stay well, so. Okay, so I'm probably not, I'm not going to put my back on. Okay. Next, you have to put your retain, retaining, um, type of plunger right here. Remember the silver screws you had to save. Cannot lose these. They're almost irreplaceable unless you have to buy new ones, and if you like that, but I'm not, so. And I just dropped the Hold on, let me put them in. Okay, so you've got these back on perfectly. That mod is all done. Woo! Woohoo! Yes! Okay, next is to want the mod with this. Keep listening and stay tuned in. Okay, this mod is very simple and very fun and easy. Um, it's it's for transportation purposes and uh, many other purposes too. You have a larger pistol that takes clips and everything. It's just cool. Um, okay, so first you're going to want to take this screw out. I have everything in mind, so I'm just going to show you what I'm actually do. You're going to take these two clips out, orange ones, and get a Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel, use a very large hobby knife, or if you don't know what that is, it's a sharp knife that you get at a hobby store. Just go there and say, if you don't have one, you know, say, I need a hobby knife, I need it for something at home. Trim those edges off. There's going to be little pointy edges, like, there are pointy edges on it, like the outside how it is like that, but it's on the inside, and you have to trim those down, so the thing is able to come out. So, once you've done that, that's all there is to it, and you just take it out and it's done. Okay, so if you had any trouble with this video, comment, rate, subscribe, send me a message on my blog, so I can know to help you with this, because... I've done it seven times, seven different guns. Don't forget. Bring a serial fan 100 signing off.